Hey, this is Old Man Metal. I hope everyone's doing well, and welcome to the nth episode of Old Man Metal's Musings, the official podcast of Old Man Metal. And tonight, we're just shooting a bit of test video and drinking a beer. Whenever I need more space for other visual elements on the screen, I use one of two basic variations on the standard full-screen talking headshot, which is what you see here. The first one scales the talking head video down to 80% and moves it down and left to create quite a bit more room. And the second one scales the talking head video down to 70% and moves it even further down and left to create even more room. Most of the time, that change happens in the middle of a shot, so there's a transition involved. And I've tried a number of variations on that transition, and I've never been quite happy with any of them, so I decided to take a minute and figure it out once and for all. So now I'm just shooting some test video to play with, and I need maybe three or four minutes, I think. So I sometimes get asked about the glassware that I use for IPAs, which is this right here. This one. And it's the Spiegelau IPA glass, manufactured by German crystal glass master Spiegelau, introduced in 2013. It was designed in conjunction with brewmaster Sam Caligioni of Dogfish Head Craft Brewery and Ken Grossman of Sierra Nevada Brewing Company. The design process went through 50 to 60 different iterations, varying bowl shape, bowl depth, handle design, and nucleation points, among other things. And it resulted in a final lineup of eight prototypes from which number six was chosen by secret vote. Where the design landed was a fairly narrow deep bowl, somewhere between a white wine glass and a champagne flute, which finds a nice balance between collecting the assertive hop aromas and allowing the strong carbonation of the beer to blast those aromas right up into your nose holes, which is where you want them. And that happens every time you take a sip, which as you can see, puts your schnoz right down in the middle of the bowl. The design also includes nucleation points etched into the bottom of the glass, which provide a constant stream of aroma-releasing effervescence, and ridges in the handle that batter even more carbonation out of the liquid every time you take a sip. Does it work? Damn right it does. You get a nice big sip of beer and a nice big nose full of the aromas and it just makes it that much better. If you're going to spend four or five dollars on a pint of top-notch IPA, why would you balk at spending eight bucks on a glass that'll let you get the most out of it? That just makes no sense. I'd like to thank Burial Beer Company for tonight's show beer. End of plagues. And hopefully that's enough footage to work with. And if it's not, I'll just tack some other bullshit on at the end. Y'all take care.